Hey, who's up for some coloring? Hey there creators, Nia here. And today I'll be going back to the adult coloring book activities that I've done before on this channel. And I will leave a card pop up to my coloring book uh, playlist if you're interested in checking out some of the previous videos that I've done on this. So I've been trying to complete some uh, nice pages for uh, that I plan to get framed and to put in each of our bedrooms. Uh, one for each of my kids and one for my husband and me. And yeah, and I've already done the other two, my, do my two daughters' uh, coloring pages. And today I'm going to be doing my son's and in, I think, two weeks, I'm planning on doing my husband's and mine for our room. All right, let's get started on that coloring page. Well, hey there, creators. Um, so I'm using the Secret Garden coloring book. This is the artist's edition from Johanna Basford. And um, the difference between this edition and... Uh, her other coloring books is that this is done on all her her images are on individual pieces of paper and they're artist grade and yeah so the mediums that i'm using in this uh coloring page are a combination of the ink tense pencils with twinkling h2o watercolors and what those are is kind of a pearlescent watercolors um, they're mixed with like mica or something like that and so it creates kind of this slightly sparkly look to uh, the watercolor um, pieces. With the twinkling H2O's you want to uh, um, squirt some water in each pan and let it sit for a couple minutes before you start to use it. And that's kind of what I did here. But uh, I was hoping to have the background of the ink tents done while the water was sitting in the pans. But that background took forever to do. And I ended up having to re-wet all the, um, the Twinkling H2O pans so that I could use them again. All right, so um, on to, you know, I kind of want to, since these are for my kids, I sort of want to talk about my kids a little bit. <laughs> kind of a way for you guys to get to know me and get to know my family, I guess, a little bit. Uh, hope that's okay. So I've done three of these uh, colorings uh, so far uh, from this book. Um, one, the first two were for my daughters, and I'll leave a card pop up for those. I let each of them pick out uh, which one they wanted me to color, and that was a while ago. And you know, some uh, their tastes have slightly evolved a little bit since then. <laughs> um, for example, right now, even though the bug one is for my son, my youngest daughter Bridget is actually the one who's really, really into bugs, and she's always loved bugs, but um, much to my chagrin, because she always brings me bugs. But lately, she's really been into bugs, and so <laughs> she's always bringing me bugs. Um, but uh, yeah, so this one's for Seamus, though. Um, so I wanted to talk about some of my children's personality traits. My youngest daughter, Bridget, is uh, she's almost five years old, um, and she's kind of my little firecracker. She's uh, <laughs> she certainly knows what she wants. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, and she's super sweet and very, very cute, and she's, she loves, loves bugs. She befriends all bugs, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she, she loves things like Dora and uh, Diego and Papa Cat and things like that. <laughs> So my middle daughter is Rhiannon, and you guys probably know her as Rainbow, and that is her nickname. She goes by Rainbow, <laughs> and she is just the sweetest person ever. She's, she's very, very caring about other people, and she always wants to share. She's my share, <laughs> you know. Um, the other two, she, uh, Seamus and Bridget, they don't share. Well, they do, but I mean, they kind of have to be forced a little bit to share. Whereas Rhiannon is, she's all about sharing and making sure other people are comfortable and, 
yeah, she's just a little sweetheart. <laughs> and Seamus is my little genius. Uh, he's uh, he's skipped a grade, and he's really smart, and he's um, he's just he's a thinker. He likes to <laughs> uh, he has he always has these intriguing questions that he asks, and. Uh, yeah, sometimes you can see him just like sitting there and you can see the gears turning in his head like he's thinking about something, <laughs> you know. Um yeah, but he's also he's really funny and he's he's a total extrovert. He loves to hang out with other people. He loves to have lots of friends and things like that. But yeah, that's the that's my kids. They're really awesome awesome people and I'm so lucky that I get to be their mom even though they drive me nuts, <laughs> you know? But yeah, they're, they're just really great people. So a little bit more about this piece. Um, I was trying to do light yellow in the center, well, kind of a orangey yellow in the center, and then darker as it got to the edges, and kind of doing the opposite with the bugs. I was trying to go for an orange and blue because that's my son's um, r colors in his room, but uh, like the lighter blue on the outside and then inside going more for the darker blues, darker greens, and even reds and purples in the very center. And in a second or so, I'll start adding the um, metallic uh, marker touches with the Winsor Newton metallic markers. Um, and the legs I'm making just black. Uh, I, I didn't want to fill in those tiny little details in every single leg, so I just colored all the legs black with a, uh, a pen and uh, then used a metallic marker to put in some of the touches. And in a few seconds or so, um, it's going to start to real time uh, with real voices and it's going to be Seamus and I putting the sparkly edges on with some... Uh, uh, embossing powder, which I'll explain how to do um, in the sped up parts of the next part here. And here I am about to sign it, Mom 2017. <laughs> All right, Seamus, you like this? Yeah. Yeah? Look pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Oh, I noticed I didn't do that a little bit right there. Let me do that real quick. What little bit did you forget? Right there. And maybe oh. we'll I'll do this right here. And the little claws of it? There we go. And those little claws. Well, that's not a big deal. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use embossing ink, some embossing powder, and a heat gun, which I don't have in frame right to the second, but I will in a, in a second. And we're going to put a glitter edge all around. And it's just like how we did with um, Rhiannon and Bridget's pictures. See how Bridget's got that sparkly, I'm not sure if the camera can see it, but you see that sparkly edge? Same thing here for Rhiannon's. You see that? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to put the same thing on your edge, okay? Let me grab the heat gun. So here I'm inking up all the edges with the embossing uh, ink and using a lot of the powder because we're putting it on the paper so that we can reuse the powder. So you can use as much of it, the whole bottle if you want and using the heat gun to kind of melt the uh, glitter, the embossing powder, into the embossing ink. And yeah, so there you go. What do you think of that, Seamus? Really cool. Yeah, you like it? Do you like that it's uh, uh, glittery? Yeah. Ooh, and you help do that glitter, huh? Mm -hmm. Really cool. Oh, did you see how it was signed? Oh, Mom, 2017. Isn't that cool? <laughs> what do you say? Thank you. Aw. <laughs> All 
All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. Um, this is the finished coloring page, and it's pretty cool. Bugs. <laughs> it's gonna look pretty cool in my son's room, because his room is uh, orange and blue, so this matches pretty well. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Later, creators.